So today we're going to learn multiplying and dividing integers. And you guys know this kind of because you know it from your test prep. Remember you wrote it down a few times and you're all, what you're writing down is smiley faces and you probably all have been wondering what on earth those smiley faces mean. Well, today I'm going to teach you what those smiley faces mean. So we're going to multiply and divide integers. Okay, basically the rule you have to follow is, uh, we call it the marriage rule, okay? Now let's start off the marriage rule one at a time. And you know this because, again, it's on your test prep, and this is what those smiley faces were all about. So the first rule is multiplying or dividing integers. Is you have a happy wife and you have a grouchy husband, it makes a bad marriage. So let's, let's just show that again. You have a happy wife, you have a grouchy husband, it makes a bad marriage. Can anyone tell me why it makes a bad marriage? Why does it make a bad marriage? Please. Because a grouchy husband's always yelling and the wife is miserable, right? Okay, the second rule. Someone tell me what the second rule is that you know. Don't say grouchy wife and have, just, just do the smiley faces. Happy face and a sad face. Yeah. Uh, sad, sad face and a happy face. Makes a sad yeah. face? Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, that's exactly the second rule. A grouchy wife, a grouchy wife, and a happy husband make a bad marriage. Now, why does a grouchy wife and a happy husband make a bad marriage? You don't want to tell me, Jasmine? Because the wife is miserable. Right, and the poor guy is miserable because the wife's the only guy. Okay, let's do the next one. Oh, next one. Happy faces. Two happy faces make what? what? what happy marriage. What do they make? A happy face. A, ha a happy face make a happy marriage. Make a happy marriage. Yeah, very good. See, you guys already know this from your test prep, right? Okay, let's, um, let's do this whole thing and show it to you so you guys, in case it's not big enough for you, I can oh. show it bigger. Ooh, that's a little too big, isn't it? All right, let's, how can we get out of this? <laughs> <laughs> there, there's an X right there. Okay, happy wife and a happy husband make a good marriage. One thing I didn't tell you guys, and, I, and, and it's not in your notes either, is just remember instead of the heart, you're going to have multiplication and you're going to have division. Okay? It doesn't matter if it's multiplying and it doesn't matter if it's, div it's dividing. The very last thing that's the hardest for students to remember is when you have two negatives. Okay? You know it from your test prep. But the question is, let's just do that question, see how much you guys know the answer. A grouchy wife and a grouchy husband, what kind of marriage does it make? I'm not going to give it away. Caitlin, what? Not happy Why would two, why would two people who are so miserable have a happy marriage? Because they are both Miserable, miserable together. Yeah. They're both miserable together. So, exactly right. So, let's do it. Let's go to the first one. Happy wife and a grouchy husband make a bad marriage. A grouchy wife and a happy husband make a bad marriage. A happy wife and a happy husband make a good marriage. And a grouchy wife and a grouchy husband make a good marriage. Okay? Alright, so now you guys, let's try it out with you guys. Okay, let's do all four symbols. First of all, a happy wife. And I want you to come up here and say that a happy, happy wife and a grouchy husband and what kind of marriage it makes. Who's ready to come up? Alexander, come on up. Nice and loud for me. Uh, a happy wife and a grouchy husband equal a father. Do you me a favor. Put the uh, multiplication and division symbols in there. Okay, go ahead and put it down, and let's see if you were right. A, bad marriage. Very good. Okay, who's doing the next one for me? All right, uh, Jessica, nice and loud. A grouchy wife and a happy husband make a bad marriage. Okay, go ahead and put the multiplication and division symbols. Another color, huh? And? Bad marriage. Excellent job. All right, who's doing the next one for me? Uh, Javier, come on up. Let's move this up so you guys can reach and everyone in the back can see as well. Um, a happy wife and a happy husband. A 
Oh, it's not plus. Be careful, you guys. There are totally different rules when you add and subtract. Totally different rules. Uh, happy wife and a, and a happy husband equal a good marriage. Excellent job. Last but not least, Elier, come on up for the last one. And Elier, watch out because I'm going to ask you a really tricky question before you, after you reveal the answer. A. A. A, a miserable wife. I'm a miserable husband. Me. A. A. Bad marriage. I mean, a good marriage. And you change that quick. Okay, now, for bonus points, tell me, why on earth is two negatives a positive? A grouchy and a grouchy make a happy couple. Because they're miserable together. Because they're miserable together. Okay, you guys are going to remember that, right? Okay, let's move on then. So how does that translate into um, positives and negatives? Instead of doing um, happy wife, grouchy husband, we just think the happy as being a positive, and we think of the, uh, neg uh, the minus or the grouchy as a negative. So you guys help me out. If I have a positive times a positive, let's do that again. Oh, see, look, I'm looking red. Positive times a positive equals a positive. Okay. Positive times then divided or divided by negative equals a negative. Okay. Pos negative times a positive is a negative. And a negative times a negative is a positive. Excellent job. Okay. Moving on. Let's pretend you guys have word prob problems here. I'm going to do you the first one and then I'm going to call you guys up. Okay. Let's do negative three, right, times a positive six. Positive six. Okay, who could tell me what the answer is going to be? Uh, Alan. Negative 18. It's negative because, remember, a grouchy and a happy make a grouchy, and a negative 18. All right, who wants to write a problem? It could be division, too. It does not have to be multiplication. Okay, Caitlin, come on up. Everyone's probably going to go with multiplication. Excellent job. Next. Who's next? All right, Alex, go. Alex, do the bottom one for me. In fact, do a division one. Do 10 and 2. But it's not 10 and 2, it's negative 10 and 2. Because I know everyone kind of works with the, everyone works with the division. <coughs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'll go with that. Is that a plus? Yeah. Put a plus in front of it. Okay, Alex, tell me why on earth two negative equal positive? Excellent job. Thank you very much. That's it. We're done.